because I just mowed the grass two hours ago, it was easy to spot something strange on the lawn out here, which is a baby bird. What you doing, buddy? You fall out of the nest? Hmm? This is a baby robin, and it's been very windy out here, so I think he fell from this nest. There's a nest way up there, which I'm unable to get up there, but... We'll get you some food. I just fed him a little bit. And I want to leave him out here and see if his parents come. But if you look, I don't know if you can see this up through the woods. There's a cat right through there watching the whole thing. I think he'll be able to fly in a few days, actually. I'll just feed him and keep him safe, bring him out here, see if his parents come. I was able to feed him some high-protein baby food with a medicine dropper, and now you can hear his little chirps. He's very content now. You good? It's still windy out here. I think we'll bring him inside. To keep him safe at night, I made a little nest out of this basket with some fleece and paper towel so he'll be safe and warm and then in the morning we'll try to bring him outside, feed him and see if the parents come. I'm feeding him high protein kitten food that has been soaked in warm water for 5 or 10 minutes until it's spongy. Then I get the excess water out before feeding it to him with a tweezers or with my fingers. I'm also giving this bird pieces of blueberry, blackberry, and raspberry. <laughs> He's strong. He'll be flying in no time. There we go. are blueberries as you can see he'll he'll take it right off he'll take it right off of my uh, tweezers here come on one more come on raspberry good boy here, you go, come on. here we go ready another one another one wanna eat you like that He's not afraid of jumping off heights. That's probably how he got on the ground in the first place. But he still can't fly, he can't perch. We'll try again to give him some of that wet, softened kitten food. Good, huh? Open. Good. For at least 50% of the time, I like to feed him outdoors and keep him outdoors with me so that he's used to the environment when it's time to be released. Comfortable, buddy? You comfortable? Later in the day, when I went to put the garbage out front, I found another baby robin in front of this wall. Now if you look up at how high that nest is, they fell a long way and they can't fly at all yet. They really should be in the nest.
In these photographs, you can see just how delicate these baby birds are, and they're definitely too young to be on their own. For part of the day, I keep them in this basket outdoors to see if any of the adult robins will feed them. A normal fledgling robin has more developed feathers like you see in these photographs, and these birds can fly and can keep up with their parents. Our nestlings are not at that point yet. You guys want to go outside for a little while? What do you think? Come on, buddies. You want to go out? And then I'll clean your cage a little bit too, all right? I like to put them in the yard for a while so they can stay used to the environment. There we go. What do you think? Nice? You want to eat some? Yeah? Okay, we could feed you. There you go. Want some? There you go, buddy. Want some? Come on. When they don't respond to the tweezers, sometimes I'll use my finger and they'll remember that it's eating time. Come on, buddy. Come on. Want some? And again, this cat food is soaked in water and it's very, very soft and spongy. Once they're used to you, you can feed it with your fingers as well. Want some? Come on. Good boy. Can go for a walk? Go ahead. You gonna try to fly? And then his siblings over here. What you doing, buddy? You don't want to go for a walk? Hmm? Come on. <laughs> you know, it's time to walk now. You still hungry? <laughs> They're tasting the blackberry juice and the blueberry juice. Here's some raspberry. You like that? Hmm? There you go. So now I'm, I'm letting them actually take some instead of just putting it in their throats. You like that? There you go. They still like to be fed though. Here, buddy. You want to get out go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? Come on. Here you go. <laughs> you don't want to go for a walk? Come on, go ahead. That's a good boy. How about you? You want to come out? Mm -hmm. oh, you already ate. I just you fed you. <laughs> you gotta cut the grass, huh? You guys alright? The grass can feel a little bit cool to them, so I think we'll go back inside for a while.
As the robins gain ability and strength, they hop out of the basket more and more. So now I put the basket inside of a larger cage to contain their movements when I'm not there or at night. You guys want to go outside? Blueberry? Anyone? Yeah? I've now had them for three and a half and four days, and I'm seeing great progress in their energy, in their eating, and in their attempts to fly. One of the robins is more of a risk taker than the other. If this success continues, they'll be flying free in no time. This morning, they're trying to figure out a way to get from the lawn chair up to the window. The bird on the right thinks he found a great shortcut. You can see that their jumping, flapping, and perching ability is greatly improved from yesterday. Here they are ready to try a team effort to get to the window. And then they try the buddy system. Buddy system. Mm -hmm. Can't go on your brother's back. Finally, one of them figures out the perfect solution to get to the window. You can't do that this window. Getting stronger though. You can hear that they get excited watching the birds outside. Let's go get your brother. We'll go outside. Wanna come outside with us? Okay, ready? We head back to the table for some fresh air, sunshine, and to see if they want to try flying at all. Today one robin stayed safely in the basket while the other one paid attention to the other birds. And here is his first real flight. So much progress from the other day. That was a good flight, huh?